Baby, <laughs> what are you doing in our bedroom? How's it going guys? In today's video, we're gonna talk about the five passive income streams that are proven to make $1,000 per month. Uh, but until then, we're gonna go finish this pizza and finish This Is Us on TV. It's a good program. Anyways, I'll see you guys after the intro. <laughs> First step is investing money that you already have. And for that, I have to explain something that is known as the 4% rule. So before I actually ended up leaving America to fully live in Asia, right now I'm in Bali, where you know there just so happens to be lizards that just crawl over and around in our bedrooms and villa. There was a point in my life where you know I just didn't really know what I was gonna do, right? I ended up dropping out of dental school. I moved back home with my parents. I was a quote unquote failure to every single one of the people in my social group. And I was just wanting to find a way to escape. I had no skills. I was afraid of failure and I had this need of perfection that prevented me from actually ever, ever really taking action. But I realized earlier on that the thing that was preventing me from actually gaining the freedom that I wanted was money. You know, we never really had any of it. My parents would work 16 hours a day. Uh, I was supposed to be a dentist, so I was supposed to also work like eight hours, 10 hours a day to make six figures. And you know, my entire life, Money was always just like the biggest challenge. You know, they say money can't buy happiness, but when you have literally nothing, it's, it's very hard to feel happy when you're trying to make sure that, you know, we could pay the bills, that we don't waste money on electricity, that we don't waste money on water. So because of that, really earlier on, I just started researching what passive income was and how to actually make money in my sleep. And that's when I learned about this concept known as the 4% rule, where if you save enough money and invest it, you can safely pull out 4% of that and live for the rest of your life without having to worry about that. So I did a lot of research. I was like, okay, if I don't spend money in America, but I'm making US dollars and I move to a place like Thailand or Bali, where there's a lot of expats that are actually making money online, making passive income, but then living their life, how much money would I actually need to continue to live my life? And I found out that that would only really be about $30 a day, right? $30 a day and I could just continue living this life as a single male in my 20s. And I researched how much money I needed to invest to then safely pull out about 12 grand a year to continue living this life that I've always wanted to live was about $300,000 invested into something like an index fund. For example, I used to use Betterment when I first started. It's like you, like you could definitely do research. I could do a bunch of videos on that. But then I knew the moment I had $300,000 invested into an account like that, that would grow maybe to eight to 10% a year, that's invested in like various index funds, I knew that I could safely pull out about $12,000 a year, which is about $1,000 a month, which would allow me to then make passive income. My only problem was I did not have $300,000. Baby, I'm gonna go get the bike ready. Second one is renting what you already own. Damn it. I forgot the lock. Okay, going back inside. Stay. I'm actually getting like really sweaty because it's so hot here in this entire country. Uh, just running around. Here's the key. So one of my earliest memories when uh, my parents first moved to America was 
the first time we got like a pretty decent sized house uh, that was probably a little bit more expensive than my parents could actually budget for with their two jobs even, is I remember I just was so confused on why there was just always random strangers in my house. So the bedroom that my dad and mom got was this four bedroom house uh, in the middle of the suburbs in Chicago. And it was so weird because, you know, growing up for the longest time, there was just a bunk bed in my parents' room. And that's where me and my sister would sleep. And I was wondering, I was like, mom and dad, why are there random strangers living in all of the extra rooms that could have been my own room or Angelic's room, which is my sister. And that's when I found out that my mom and dad, what they were doing was so smart and they were renting out the rooms that we didn't technically really, really need, right? So what that did is that helped pay off the mortgage. Now, at first it was weird because there was like random Asian people and Mexican people just like always at my house. But then it turned into like this really interesting family and family dynamic because there was always really interesting people in my house. Now, that's one way to make passive income is, I know it sounds weird, but there's rooms that you guys aren't using. There's other things like your snowboard, your tennis equipment, your golfing equipment. There's websites which I could show like here and here where you could actually go out there and rent it. It's the exact same thing we do in this villa. Like when I got this villa, we kind of like house hacked it because you know we rented it for a year, but then what we do is we have extra rooms where we rent them out on a monthly basis, which decreases my cost and increases the passive income because, okay, what am I gonna do with like a big villa like this? I hate being alone. I like being surrounded by love and friends. So why not rent the extra rooms to people that are really awesome? You know, one of them is my video guy, Dima. The other one is, you know, th there's just like so many people here. And I'm like realizing, why do I have to pay all of this by myself when I could literally just rent out the access rooms. So I have a friend that lives in Vancouver and I kid you not, he has a closet of a bedroom, right? It, it's literally a closet that he turned into a bedroom. I know this because when I visited, that's where I slept, right? And he was telling me, he was like, Mike, you know, it's actually really funny. Because I live in the center of Vancouver, I rent out this closet for $40 a night. So can you imagine $40 a night in a closet that you don't use? I know it sounds weird. And for the people that actually do book it, it's kind of like interesting because it's like a little small, little container of a space. But just house hacking and renting out the rooms that you're not using, the rooms, like I have like, I think the second or third smallest room because I know I'm not gonna spend as much time in there. And then with these extra rooms right here, they're like fully rented out. And it's something that, it's basically just like free money. I mean, I like the people, they're awesome. We have fun, we make videos. Anybody can do this. I encourage you, what are the things that you already own and how can you rent it out to people? Airbnb, Toro, if you have a car, so many things. The sky has, it's just like unlimited potential. We meet again. Thank you. It looks so good that now I am jealous. I feel like I I need to order the same, but now I ordered another one. What are you doing? <laughs> Eating your breakfast. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Do what? Me the best 
coconut. For some reason, I love this meat. Thank you. Bye. Uh, so what did I just do right now? I documented everything that I did up until this moment. And the funny thing is, I probably made enough from just this video to pay for that meal and to pay for that coconut. Which leads me to this concept of getting paid for doing the things that you're already doing. I remember when I first started my online business and this was like years ago, I was learning how to actually build websites and sell physical products on it, right? And I knew that even though that was one part to make money and that was active money because I was putting my time into it, one thing that I was very well aware of doing was documenting what I was actually doing on a daily basis. Oh, this is how I created a website. Oh, this is how I found the right products to sell. Oh, this is what I'm learning when it comes to finding out how to solve people's problems online. And the thing is, I was already figuring this out by myself if I was going to make a video about this or not. But luckily, I ended up doing it. And that was actually what started this YouTube channel. If you look at the past, I wasn't really teaching anything. I wasn't using it as a business. I just started realizing that if I'm traveling the world, if I'm making money online, if I'm already doing all these things, what if I could just inceptionally get paid for doing the things that I'm already doing? So right now you're like on this journey. You're trying to either, you know, get healthier, get wealthier, find more love in your life, get more happiness. And there are current challenges that you're currently going through right now that every single day you're gonna learn how to, you're gonna learn how to overcome it, right? But the thing is, if you're already going to go through that process, if you document it, you make a video about the lessons that you're learning every single day, you make a blog post of what you're learning every single day, the thing is you can actually get paid for doing that. One of my favorite things I like doing is listening to audiobooks. I listen to it all the time. And if you look at the previous one, well, all I'm really doing in one of those videos is I'm just like sharing what I'm learning in an audiobook. And because I'm sharing exactly what I'm currently going through, and people are probably curious in what it is that I have to share from something that I'm just reading, that's one way of getting paid. There's so many ways, and the thing is, right now, you could actually get paid for doing things that you're already used to doing. That makes sense, right? Fourth one is uh, starting an online business. You know what my definition of success is? It's not Lamborghinis, it's not like having a bunch of fancy things. It's to be able in the middle of the day to eat leftover pizza with my loved ones while watching soap opera reruns. And that's what an online business has allowed me to do. That was so good! That's the best TV show ever. Wow! They come out in the evening. <laughs> She's talking about the cockroaches. Okay, let's check. Let's just seriously share this. But in all seriousness, starting an online business when it comes in terms of passive income was like very hard for me because you know I don't have like a, a business bone in my body. You know, my entire life I was studying biology and chemistry and. And I was always constantly afraid of failure and I had no idea where to start and I constantly felt overwhelmed with so much information out there. And, and it was extremely hard for me to develop the skill sets to ever figure out a way to make money online. But I remember I had a mentor come to me and it was around like when I was 18 and he said, Mike, for things to change in your life, you need to change. For things to get better, you need to get better. Because I was constantly just blaming everything and everyone around me to why my life and the people in it were just completely filled with just sadness and negativity. And I realized for things to change that I needed to be the one that changed. And it was hard, right? Because I didn't want to learn sales. I didn't want to learn marketing. I didn't want to learn skill sets. But I knew for me to live a life that I have never lived, I have to do something that I've never done before. And 
when it comes to passive income, so many people are like, oh, what is the easy way out? What is the easy way to just actually travel the world? And this won't be like the most popular video, but it's like, we gotta grow as people, right? We have to grow as people, we have to learn, and we have to develop something that will increase our value, that will allow us to actually make money. And that's why, you know, I, I write on my blog, that's why I make videos. One of the best ways to create passive income is to learn a skill set like sales and marketing. If you wanna just check that out, just check out all of like the old videos and all the old blog posts in the past. But I'm telling you guys, if you're feeling that sense of overwhelm, of fear or need of perfection when getting started, that is completely normal because that was the biggest thing that almost prevented me from getting started. But the thing is, you could actually document you starting it and still get paid on it even if you failed. Like what happens to me whenever I fail, I still find a way to make passive income from it. It's needed to just like move upstairs for a while and then I'll clean our room with my perfect standards once a week. And I love you so much and I'm so grateful and I've always been grateful. I just like freaked out a little bit too much over like f***ing six cockroaches in two days. <laughs> Now the fifth and final way to make passive income, and it's one of my favorite passive income ideas, is known as being a knowledge broker. So this is my YouTube channel. And this is exactly how I stumbled upon this concept on accident. You know, I ended up coming back from an event in Spain and I was like, you know what, I wanna start, I wanna start a podcast. I was like, Joe Rogan's doing it. I wanna, I wanna try doing it too, right? So I did my little Joe Rogan thing. I, I uh, removed the bed in one of like my rooms and we just put like a picnic table in there. And what I started doing is I started reaching out to all of my friends that I haven't talked to in like ages, right? And what we did is I just started recording the conversation with them. Like if you've seen this podcast with Chris, you literally see we're, we're just like in an empty bedroom and people think we're just like in a closet when we're filming this podcast. Uh, but the funniest thing is, is as I was inviting my friends to come over and I was learning from them because they're all experts in their field, uh, what happened was people started finding out these conversations and then they started reaching out to them and wanted to buy something from them. It could have been a course, a program, a service, but regardless, the people that I was having a podcast with, which is a conversation that I would normally have on the phone with them or on Zoom, people started watching it and they wanted to buy from them. And that's where this passive income idea came from was because when I had the conversation with them, the customer went to them, they sold the product and I didn't really have to do anything. And that was like the most beautiful part. So for those that are getting started, what I would actually recommend is make a long list. We call it the dream 100. Who are 100 people that are like your idols? right? The people that you've always wanted to talk to you. If you could ever have a chance to have one dinner with them, uh, who would that be, right? And the moment you have the 100 people, you then want to figure out a way how you could add value to them. Do they have a book launch that's coming up? Do they need help with sales? Do they need help with marketing? Uh, is there something challenging in their life that's going on right now that you could provide value in and that's kind of like the secret because if you could figure that out that is one of the fastest ways to grow in passive income uh, by leveraging other people's expertise and having them sell their own products and then you getting a commission from it guys and I could go more into depth with this oh my god baby you are amazing and I could go more into depth with this. I just wanted this to be more of like an overview. Uh, maybe tomorrow I think I'm going to be launching a huge tutorial passive income thing with my laptop and a screen share so that you guys could know all of the intricacies on how to do each one. But I'm really curious before that drops, which one of these passive income ideas do you actually want more of? Do you want to find a way to invest money you already have, to rent things you already own, or to get paid for things that you're already doing, or to start an online business, or to do the knowledge brokering thing? I want to know. Come below, and don't forget to hit and demolish that subscribe button and the like button, because it really helps us out. And I just want to say I love you guys. You guys have been really beautiful and amazing to me, and you know I'm just so excited to see you guys. Tomorrow! Oh my god! Look at the tail! Baby, can you? It's moving! Baby, please, can you get rid of this? Literally, 
She had to go to the bathroom <laughs> and this gecko got stuck. But luckily, I'm pretty sure the tail can... We have to save it. The tail is not a problem. Look how cute it is. Okay, I need a towel and I'll grab him and I'll save him. No, he'll just run away. It's okay. I don't care as much about him. Just to get rid of the tail. Fuck, I feel so bad for him. <laughs> it's just the tail. The tail's moving. You know, the thing is... The thing is like this... <gasps> Fuck! Ow. <laughs> Can we took him in the toilet paper and just throw them him in the window? Do you think he's gonna like offer revenge? <laughs> I think we just let him live his life. Uh, of course we're not gonna kill him. Fuck, Mike, I'm scared, please. I Baby. don't want. Can you like This is gonna be <laughs> no harming this thing? We're gonna save someone. We should probably get a towel. No, no, baby, no. Mike, seriously. I'm gonna use one of my old t shirts. Thailand, 2017, let's go. Because if it's poisonous, I'm gonna like. Can you get rid of him, please? Mm -hmm. 